Thank you. Can you hear me? Great. I'm quite pleased to participate during this summit. Montreal is quite pleased to participate. This event is supported by the government of Canada. The interpreter would like to note that the sound is very poor. I would like to thank all participants. It shows how interested you are in this matter. The pandemic may have delayed this summit, the first of its kind in Quebec. It is also the first that is being held online. Your participation shows how important the matter is. Open data increases in importance every year. We want innovation to have more open societies, smarter societies that are more inclusive. In the next two days, we'll be able to talk more about open data. We want to promote the use of open data in government and make changes so that our communities can be leaders in open societies. Throughout the world, the image of digital cities is changing. Data plays a significant role in how we overcome challenges. We've seen that over the past few years and specifically in getting through COVID. It's important in improving services and decision making. But there are also many ethical issues that we need to find solutions to. Montreal is the perfect city to hold to start thinking about these issues. And we can also look at startups and artificial intelligence. Our universities strive to examine ethical matters. We want to examine diversity. And we want to mobilize our citizens. And we can show strong leadership on open data because this is something that we've been working for for a while, and it's something that is integrated into Montreal's way of doing things. Montreal is able to play a leadership role in major cities throughout the world. Montreal was examining free Wi-Fi and the series for digital rights the move to cloud and Montreal's new online website, developing software and as well as digitalizing services to citizens. These are all things that Montreal has been working on. Montreal has been looking at an integrated vision of data. For us, it allows us to make real our vision on a smart city. Montreal adopted its first program on open data in 2015. There is also a joint directive, joint municipal directive, which explains everyone's role. We also work to prioritize and automate information, and we have a network of data ambassadors. Why all this work on open data? Well, it's important internally, which allows us to work on data governance to have a better efficiency. But we also want the city to be more transparent so that people understand the municipal apparatus so that we can offer better services and it allows us to engage people more. 
Economic growth is also important, and this is what guides our actions. This is part of an action plan for the coming years. We want to make improvements, and we want to focus on the usefulness of data. We want to offer more support of open data users, and we want to mobilize our partners as well. The action plan that we put in place also highlights the work on data governance to have a, an efficient publication of open data. And we want to, of course, integrate them further into our lives and create learning opportunities. We are also working to find new partnerships so that Montreal can stay at the head of this open data movement. We recently updated our website to make it simpler for users, and we wanted to better support all of our users. It is open and supports other open data initiatives. Our goal is to mobilize people through data, and we want to increase digital literacy. Our partners are uploading their data. The Transport Society of Montreal, for example, gives us access to their data. We want to have data to all activities in Montreal, so we will be working with Denis Quebec, and we're, we will be working at the provincial level as well. So please use it and share your data. Our vision will help us to implement Montreal's data strategy. Digital Montreal seeks to modernize the city and make it simpler to share data between the city and its people. We want more citizen engagement, and we want them to participate in, in municipal light. This is a, an important tool to have access to modern programs. We wanted to have a more global approach, approach to data in the city. All this work on data required a framework. That's why a year ago, we gave Montreal an open or a digital data charter to have access to it in public space and it allows public administrators to make to take decisions. There are 13 principles divided into three commitments. So it guarantees access to the digital era. It also has to do with the ethical collection of data and the use of that data. By elaborating this charter, Montreal can be more transparent, uh, flexible, and can better manage its digital data so that the data can contribute to improving urban areas and improve decision making to better uh, face the different crises, whether health or environmental, and offer better services. That's a priority. In the Charter, there's also the fact that uh, common good is a priority. Organization can work for the collectivity. We need to use these data in a transparent way. Data practices need to be documented and public, including data collected and the rules applied. There's also different things such as 
collecting access and other that are part of transparency. And there are also mechanisms that include civil society representative to take collective decisions on data. Other part of the chart, and I want to really insist on that point, is that data needs to serve the future. We need to be take advantage of data to have better equity and to create exchange spaces. It needs to be universal access by reducing digital fracture and also favor public uh, participation and social values so that a city can be truly intelligent. It needs to be a humane, uh, scale, a human scale city. An intelligent city must not be uh, focused on technology, but on the quality of life. An intelligent city uses technology to improve, improve the quality of life of its citizens. Our whole uh, vision has to do with our plan for Montreal 2030. It frames everything we have in that we want to do in the city for the next 10 years. There's an eco, uh, environmental uh, transition, democracy, inclusion, and participation, and also innovation and creativity. This ambitious vision can only come true with digital transformation projects in the city, notably open data. Creativity is at the heart of this project. Montreal wants to have an open culture and that can learn from its mistake to find solutions to an urban issues. We need to have mechanisms that improve use of resources and to promote experimenting. That's what puts forward Montreal in common. It's an ambitious project from the city. Partners are experimenting with solutions in food, in regulations, and mobility to rethink the city. The 13 projects have $50 million to put in place these. This money comes from the federal government. It's part of the urban common by supporting high impact projects within project in Montreal and common. There are there's uh, digital data on mobility so that all collective transport data can be put together. We want to better understand the social reality of Montrealers and especially of vulnerable people and put in common efforts and resources so that there are more healthy and local foods available. We also want to collaborate with Indigenous peoples in Montreal. First of all, to ensure a more just use of the data and favor better decision making. As you understand, for us, through these digital information, this tra digital transformation in Montreal, data has a key role to help uh, tackle the different challenges. It puts forward a possible solution for innovation, environment, democracy, and uh, citizens' participation. This uh, summit, I hope, will help you learn more about responsible governance of these data so that we have complete solutions and we have data culture to help the common good. I'd like to thank you for listening to me, and I wish you a very good summit. And I give the floor to Gwen Phillips, who will talk about uh, 